what is it that you want? And people give me this broad general answer of like, well, I want to be like, you know, admired in my community and be a community leader. And I want to be, you know, I want to be rich. I want to make a hundred million dollars, you know, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, but be specific, you know? And when I push back a little bit and I'm like, okay, but, but okay, so be specific. Like, where's this money coming from? Are you selling drugs or you got a business? Okay, if you got a business, what kind of business do you have? Right. If you're if you want to have, you know, three homes, where are the homes? How big are the homes? What are the locations? How many months a year are you spending at each home? Right. So what tends to happen is, is like people that are less specific about what they want, they never get it. The people that are more specific, no matter how big or small their goal is, they usually get what they want because they're super specific about it. Right. You know, can't sit on the couch eating potato chips. But if you're very specific about your goal, there's a significantly higher percentage chance that you're gonna obtain that goal as opposed to just having this broad generality about the goal, right? And people miss that, dude. People miss that. Like they're so broad about what they want. Like be specific, you know? You gotta go through every single detail about what it is that you specifically want before you'll get it. And I've noticed for me in my life that I've never actually gotten what I wanted if I was having trouble in life about getting what I wanted, it was because I just wasn't as specific enough. And the moment that I just kind of honed in and became way more specific about what I wanted, it was like, boom, there it is. Anything, dude, it's like anything. Like I'm super specific and like, you gotta be super specific. Like you got a business, okay, so what are your sales? What are you gonna hit this month? What are you gonna hit next month? How are you gonna hit that? What do you gotta do every single hour to hit that? I just had a meeting about that this morning. I'm like, like, dude, we run everything hour to hour at Blackstone. Like everything's hour to hour. Like we run sales hour to hour. Like I'm not waiting until the end of the day to find out I didn't hit my target. So I'm being super specific, not only about the big goal, the macro and the micro, right? I'm looking at both. I'm looking at both of them and I'm demanding every single day. And that's what you got to do. You got to demand every single day that those things are happening so that you're able to get to the big goal that you want to get to. Again, it comes down to specifics, right? So if you're at home watching this and you're not specific, you can't break down to the minute granular detail about what it is that you want in your life, then you're absolutely kidding yourself about, about the fact that you're going to even get there. You'll never get there. You will never get there. You'll never get there. You're not going to sit at home and have this big dream about, oh, I want to be a community leader and I want to have millions of dollars and I'm, we're going to sing Kumbaya. Like, dude, you'll be 90 years old with the same dream singing Kumbaya, bro. Need to, is it writing it down? Do you need a vision board? Like, what was the steps that you followed? To? The steps that I followed to get what I wanted was I first thought about the big picture. Okay, so what is it that I wanted? So let's say that I wanted a um, billion dollars worth of wealth or more. Okay, so then I had to reverse engineer that and say, okay, what, what is that composed of? So let's say that that's composed of multiple companies across the healthcare spectra. Okay, so the first thing I did was I figured out the big thing. What do I want to have? And I really started with that concept of what do I want to have? Instead of figuring out what I wanted to do or be, I was like, okay, what do I want to have? And essentially I started to break it down in terms of the minute detail of that. So, okay, I wanted to have a lifestyle. So let's say um, I wanted to be able to travel private and I wanted to be able to stay at five-star hotels. That is starting to think with more granular, right? Because most people will think, oh, I wanna go on vacation twice a year, or three times a year. Okay, well, what does that look like? Are you staying at the Days Inn or are you staying at the Ritz? Are you traveling JetBlue or are you chartering a plane? Right? Are you worried about how much money you're spending on vacation or are you spending whatever the hell you want because you just make so much money? Right? So I started to think with, okay, granularly, what does that look like? So I'm like, no, I want to fly private. I want to be able to stay at the Ritz. I want to be able to spend whatever I want to spend and I want to not be worried about it. Right? So now I'm starting to think with, what do I want my life to be like? What do I want to have in my life? What I don't want to have in my life? Do I want to have friends that are encouraging regardless of their economic status, right? Because to me, it doesn't matter what a person makes. 
it matters of their mindset and their value that they bring, right? So do I wanna have those types of people in my life or do I wanna have the opposite of that? Where people that are constantly negative, constantly telling you you can't do it or you're being unreasonable or whatever. So I started to say, okay, well, I want to have this. So I was like, okay. And I, I literally wrote this out. Like I encourage you to write it out. I wrote everything out. Like, okay, this is what I want to have. Like I literally broke it down in those real small bites, right? Which 99% of people don't do. They don't, they don't break it down into those bites. Like, okay, these are the types of concepts that I want this person to be or think with or whatever. And then I just started doing that in every area of my life, every area of my life. The car I want, okay, what, do I want to drive a Bentley or do I want to drive a Rolls Royce? Like I went through every, well, I want to drive a, I want to drive a Rolls Royce. Why do I want to drive a, why do I want to drive a Rolls Royce? I want to drive a Rolls Royce because if you drive a Bentley and a Rolls Royce pulls up, it's like, brah, 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 right? I didn't want to, I, I didn't want, so I thought about it, man. It wasn't an accident where it's like, oh, I, you know, I, I drive a Rolls Royce. I drive a Rolls Royce because I didn't want the Bentley pulling up next to me and then, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be in the Bentley and then the Rolly pulls up and it's like, bah, bah, bah. nothing against Bentley. I love Bentley and I got friends that have Bentley. I love Bentley. But that's what it was for me, right? And the real ballers have both, okay? The real ballers have both. I got two Rolls Royces. But I do want a Bentley. But my point is, is that I thought about all of those things granularly to where I was like, okay, you know, have I thought this through? Is this what I want to have? Um, the type of clothes that I want to have, the type of, of watch that I want to have, the type, I mean, everything. So when you start to really think with what it is that you want to have in life, right? You can then actually kind of figure out what you're then going to be and do, right? Because you got to be able to think with the concept of, well, if I want to have three houses or four houses and I want to have all this stuff, well, it starts to limit the amount of things that you can be, right? It starts to then spark the idea of what can you do to get to where you want to be, right? And without figuring out on a very small level all of those details, how do you get there? I mean, all the things that I just talked about, most people don't even think about. They don't even think about that. So then how are you going to have it? You see what I'm saying? So, so what I do every year is I actually plot it out. I say, okay, where do I want to be at the end of the year? I want to be here? Okay. What does that look like? And I start breaking it down. I break it down to the month, to the, to the week, to the day, to the hour. So I know for the, for the most part, every hour, every day, every week, what I'm trying to accomplish, where I'm trying to go to. So I'm not, I'm not flying blind. You know what I mean? I think that's very important. Otherwise you never get there. Do you think a lot of people never get to that point because of the sacrifices it will take, right? Because the, the next step after you decide what you want is you have to get rid of all the things that yeah. you've already worked for. I mean, that's what separates the men from the boys, man. That's what separates the warriors from the spectators. Like, you know, we watch these medieval, you know, movies and shows, man, and they weren't fucking around, man. They weren't fucking around. Like, I, was, I just was watching this, uh, The Last Kingdom, right, with the warrior uh, Uhtred. And what a fucking baller that guy was. Baller, man. And those guys back then, man, they were just like, it's about honor. It was about not, what's the word? Settling. It was, you know, for those rare people, it was about not settling for something that was half of what you wanted. And they were willing to die for it. And in today's society, you got people like, oh, well, I, I'm just gonna go with that because I'm gonna feel some pain. You know, like, the, where, where's the warrior, man? Where's the fucking, you know, 15 against one and like, fuck it, let's go. You don't have that these days with a lot of people. So, you know, most people, even for me, would have looked at my life and been like, well, well yeah, I would have stuck with that girl or I would have stuck with, you know, that situation in business or whatever, because it wasn't bad. It was probably better than average for most people, but it wasn't for me. And I was like, that's not what I want. I wanted, I wanted excellent, I wanted excellent, 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 excellent in every area of my life. And if I wasn't able to get that, then I wasn't willing to just settle for it, man. So I pulled out my sword, man, and I fucking chopped motherfuckers up. And I was like, dude, I'm out. Chopped them up, dude. And I was like, I'm out, you know? Because I wasn't willing to settle for that. I didn't want that to be my story. You know what I mean? So you gotta figure out what you want as your story. What do you want it to be? You know, do you want it to be something that you can be proud of? 
you know, at the end of your days, or do you want it to be something that's kind of like, well, okay, yeah, kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's different for everybody, dude. I don't expect everybody to have that mentality, and I think that's what's the beauty of life. Everybody's different, but you're asking me, so I'm telling you. So that's the first step, is just to get hyper-specific. The first step is to get hyper-specific on what it is that you want. That's the first step. Yeah, you gotta be hyper-specific on what it is that you want. And then once you know what you want, you gotta eliminate everything in your life that is not that. And this is where everybody fails. Most people don't get even here. 95% of people don't get here because they're not willing to make those tough decisions because they're like, well, you know, I'm gonna be alone and I'm gonna be, well, if I get rid of this person, I'm be, but you know, three days out of the week, they're, they're good and four days is, is shit, right? And there you have it. So what's step three? That's when you start adding, that's when things get good though. Step three is where things get good. Step one is you figure out in detail what you wanna have, right? Step two is you eliminate everything that is not number one, right? And number three is where you actually, you're the party starting. Three is actually where you're actually starting life. You're actually living life the way you want it to live life. And this is like, that number three is like 5% of the population. I'm being generous. I think it's probably one, probably half of 1%, half of 1%. But people fail on, on two, they're not willing to. Most people probably know what they need to do, right? Like, oh yeah, I need, I wanna have blah and I wanna have blah, but then they're just not willing to make those tough decisions to get there.